start button. Tell these hoes to press the start button. Run in your code and press the start button. For any one of these flows, just press the start button. Yeah. Tell my foes to press the start button. For a lunatic show, just press the start button. And there's a motherfucking game. What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Big Ant, that's what, that's the Gamer Tag Force, and I'm here on Gears of War Judgment, the Overrun Demo, Overrun Beta, and um, before we get into this, I'm just going to give my opinion on the Overrun Mode. To me, it's basically like Beast Mode, if you remember Gears of War 3 is Beast Mode, it's like Beast Mode, except the computer, which is not the computer this time, it is the multiplayer, which is online, so it's the other opponents on the team that gets to play as the cock like as you see right here and there's some stuff added like objectives uh, right here you have to defend the e hole cover you have to defend the e hole Look at that. emergence hole and the locust objective is to destroy it so they can uh, get the emergence hole open and this goes in like different sections like of the map the next round it'll move on over and then you go, you go back and forth two or three times and whoever gets the most uh, damage done or whoever does the best protecting pretty much wins the match as you see here I got Baird I'm an engineer so I had my Nasher out and Baird again Let's see we switch it up here now right here I got this bazooka type weapon which is new which they call it something else it's basically got the meaning of bazooka but uh yeah so far it's not really that bad of a game I'm gonna pretty much tell you right now just by playing this I feel like I'm playing Gears 3 again and I don't like games like that because it's like the the it's like the Call of Duty games for me. It's the same thing, just a new year. Like, oh, go buy an updated version of the same game from last year. I don't like that. I mean, I'm a Gear fan. Don't get me wrong, dude, but dudes and gals. But uh, what's different about uh this right here is my boy. Cliffy B. Mr. Cliff B Bozinski. Pretty sure I got his name. Really wrong. But, um, yeah, I mean, he's always been known for making the Gears games, and he's, our, you know, always had his input. Well, you know, I know a lot of people like me, all my classic Gears gamers that loves having their old school classic Nash or shotgun battles from Gears of War 1, all my classic original fans. He was going to have it to where this game didn't have sawed-offs because if you remember Gears of War 1, sawed-offs wasn't around. It was going, like, he wanted it to be where it was exclusive to 3. Like, oh, they never really made the sawed-offs until 3, which makes sense to me. Okay, they invented it then. But, you know, other people, like, oh, we want to bring the sawed-off back. So Cliff ended up, he ended up leaving. He ended up leaving Epic Games. Over this game, over this freaking creation of this game right here. And, uh, you know, pretty much how it went. Now you see we're on the Locust side. And I'm the, I'm the Cantus. I just went ham on that dude right there. Ham sandwich and cheese all day. On that dude right there. And I'm trying my damnedest to, um, destroy the, uh, e-hole cover over here. Not really having that. Well, we've been doing a pretty good job on it. And of course, he cheated by throwing the sentry up. Of course, I did the sentry earlier when I was on that side. But you know, now I'm a locust. 
But, uh, yeah, see, we opened up e hole. Why? Because we're beasts like that, yo. Big ants on their squad. That's why we doing things. No, but, but to be serious, though, um, see how it goes throughout the map like that? I could see this being a little enjoyable mode to play around with. But, um, I probably won't be getting this game for a while. I'm not going to get it day one. But this is just, you know, this is my little review. I'm going to give a review after I get through playing this on what I think. Of course, I might just go ahead and tell you a review through the thing. Right now, I'm giving it a, I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. Or, actually, I give it a 3.5 out of 5. I mean, it's okay. It's it's not the greatest. It's just to be honest, me being the biggest Gears fan around, and I know a lot of y'all that know me, y'all know what's up with that. I got burnt out when I got when I played three. I got burnt out on Gears. I really did. All the little Call of Duty people that wanted to come over and Lancer, they pretty much ruined it. Them and the Salt Off ruined it for me. I will give you a little side note about Salt Off in this game. It is less power. There's less power in the sawed off now. Yeah, you can still kill people from close up, but it's... You know how people used to sneak in kills by shooting you from a certain distance with a sawed off? And you're sitting there going, you're not supposed to be able to kill me from that distance. That's where the, that's where the power of the gun comes in. They took power out of it. They nerfed it, as people like to say. So that's a good thing. The Nasher is... Like, the Nasher is easier to use. Like, um... And I know, I don't know if I've mentioned this already, but, um, there's the new convenience to this game, and you can hit the Y button to switch weapons instead of using the D-pad like you used to in the classics. Also, you just hit the LB button to throw grenades. I know I'm late on telling you all this, but, yeah, that's how it goes now. But, uh... I mean, you really can't you really can't judge the whole full game just by this one mode because this is all you're given in this beta. But overall, I mean, it's pretty fun. Uh, I can't say that it's boring. It's definitely a fun beta. Because uh, I, I mean, I'm an objective kind of person anyway. You give me objectives, and I have fun playing games. That's why I like Future Soldier. The only thing about Future Soldier is I don't know enough people to play it to actually have a team. Because it's a teamwork time kind of game. But that's another story. That's another game. Alright, now we're talking Judgment. And, um... Judgment... I'm disappointed in Judgment. Not, not uh, the game or anything because I have not played it. But the, the concept behind it. Like, oh, they're on trial. Whatever happened to the Pendulum Wars? I always wanted a game about the pendulum wars. Y'all can't do that. But you know, you know them. You know Epic. As much as they're making, as much money as they're making off these Gears of War games, they're like Halo. They have to have a reason to come out with the next game. They got to make you think it's the last one. Everybody probably thinks, "Oh, Judgment, that's the last Gears of War." I got news for you. I got, I got news for you. After Judgment comes out. I guarantee you, next year, probably on the 720, the Xbox 720, or whatever the next console is going to be, it might be called just the Xbox. I don't know. But, I got a feeling they're going to make one with the Pendulum Wars, which come out after Judgment. Which will probably be next year or the year after. Depends on what their time frame is for that. Because you got to adapt to the new gen. Which the next gen is going to be a little different. I don't know what console I'm going for yet because I don't know what the Microsoft's going to offer. But right now I'm standing on the fence of PS4. And all y'all that know that I'm a 360 fanboy, it's probably surprising for you. This is nothing against PS3. I'm, I mean, you can call me a fanboy on Xbox, but I'm an online kind of guy. So, yeah. But anyway, enough of that. This has been Big Ant, and this has been Gears of War Judgment, the beta. Early access. Hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a good day.